you're looking for a simple but innovative way to tune your analog or digital oscillators, you might want to check out the Autopilot by Endorphins, which is a 6HP 1U utility module that solves your tuning problems with a touch of a button. The Autopilot sits between your sequencer and your oscillator and ensures that you get bang on tuning every single time. Simply connect your sequencer into the one volt per octave input on the autopilot, then take a spare audio waveform output from your oscillator and plug that into the reference oscillator input, connect the output of autopilot into your oscillator, then send it a steady note, hit tune, and hey presto, your oscillator is now tuned. No more needing to wait around for oscillators to tune up or to worry about them going out of tune halfway through a gig, and if you're using multiple oscillators, this will ensure that they all stay in tune together. Okay, so let's take a look at how the autopilot works. And this is this is quite a, a basic video, this. Uh, so don't expect loads and loads of music um, because the autopilot really is more of a utility, a very, very handy utility. And this one now comes in 1U. There is a 3U version, but this 1U version, I think it is super, super simple and super effective for anyone out there who's using both analog or digital oscillators uh, has problems when keeping them in tune, either with themselves or with each other, this is the utility for you. Because what this does, the autopilot basically sits between your sequencer, say, anything that's kicking out the, the volt per octave, um, it sits between that and your oscillator. And what it will do, it will attenuate the incoming signal from your sequencer using a reference uh, waveform, audio waveform from your oscillator and it will attenuate that signal for you to ensure that it is bang on in tune. Let me show you how this works. Now for this demonstration I'm using the Endorphins Godspeed oscillator which actually has this functionality built into it. So if you don't own one of these this is probably why you want to buy an autopilot um, or you, <laughs> you buy one of these Godspeeds which has got it in there. The, the thing is, if you've got some favorite oscillators that you already have that are not the Godspeed, uh, and they might be very temperamental analog oscillators that take a while to warm up and stay in tune and, and that kind of thing, then uh, you're probably gonna wanna buy the autopilot. And the fact that they're only one U means that if you need, say, three of them, they will fit in your one U space and not take up a lot of room at all. Anyway, let me show you what it does. So, here's the Godspeed. We're just listening to one of its outputs at the moment. That's just going through a VCA, it's going through a filter, the filter's not doing anything, and it's just then going to my output. Now, nice and simple, nothing going on there. Now, typically, I would take my sequencer here, um, which is just playing, it's just playing a C note, just, for, just to keep things simple, it's just playing a C and I would usually stick that into my oscillator and it would track the volt per octave. Happy days, no problem there. But what we're actually gonna do is take the volt per octave and actually plug it in to the autopilot, not into the oscillator. So the autopilot is now listening to your sequencer, whatever's coming out from there. And by the way, you shouldn't have some kind of crazy sequence going on here, not initially anyway. To get this kind of tuned and uh, attenuated, if you like, you want to just feed it something static. So I'm sending it just a C note. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is from the oscillator, uh, that we're using or a, um, with a spare output, ideally something like a square output uh, or something simple like a square. Uh, you don't want anything too complex and that goes into the reference oscillator in input. So now autopilot is looking at the oscillator input, waveform, audio, and it is looking at your volt per octave. And then last, we need to take the output of autopilot and go into your volt per octave of your oscillator. Okay. Now we know that there's a C, well I know that there's a C coming out of my sequencer, the nerd sequencer. It's going into the autopilot. 
So, when I hit tune, you will hear it stepping through until it stops and then you get those lights, the two lights that come on, which tells you that it is now tuned, your oscillator is now tuned perfectly to C. And I know that in two different ways. One is that autopilot, the two lights are on, which tells me he's got it. It's, if, the, if one light at the top is on, that means it's uh, sharp, and the other one means it's flat. It's neither of those, so that means it's bang on. I also know that because the Godspeed has got the same indication on it as well. It's got the same lights, so we can actually see that that's bang on. So that's it. That's all you need to do. And now, you know, I don't need to wait for the oscillator to tune. Um, or Sorry, I don't need to wait for the oscillator to warm up or anything. It's done. That's it. And if you've got multiple oscillators, you just apply the same thing. You could even, I suppose, if you don't have too many uh, audio, uh, separate audio outputs, different waveform outputs, you could just molt them or something like that. Now, just to show you, if I accidentally hit the, the tuning of my oscillator, the Godspeed. So I've gone sharp there. I can see I've gone sharp on both the autopilot and the Godspeed. So if I hit tune again, it should bring it back down to C. And there we go. Let's put it back down to C. The two lights are on, so we know that this is in tune. This is at C. Um, you can actually change, let me just turn that down so we don't, don't go too crazy. <laughs> you can actually change that from a C to an A, doesn't really matter. Um, but basically the way that I would use this um, and have been using this is that when I'm in a studio, I would, I would basically just uh, do this first before I do anything. Once it's done, it's done. You don't need to, you don't need to do that again. Uh, the only time you might want to do that is if you accidentally hit your pitch dial on your oscillator, you're going to need to retune again. Uh, having said that, the cool thing about the Godspeed is that if you double click this button here on the tune, it, it stops any movement of that pitch. It doesn't actually, let me turn that up. So it actually won't turn, put it out of pitch, out of tune anymore, which is really useful. So it's, it's like, absolutely solid, foolproof, basically. There's no way that that is gonna go out of tune now. Once that's done, I suppose you can then go and you can create a more complicated sequence. And uh, let's just bring in just into the VCA and envelope. And there we go. Um, and it actually shows you, it's tracking in real time anyway, as you are changing pitch. So you can kind of see what's going on there as well. So it gives that visual feedback for you. Um, so that's it really, that's, that's how it works. That's what it does in a nutshell. Uh, that's the autopilot. It's available in 3U, but this is the first time it's available in 1U. Um, so uh, yeah, if you've got any questions or any comments like that, put it down in the comments below this video and we'll come straight back to you. But hopefully that's explained exactly what this does and how to use it. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks.